Good stormy morning, physiology fans. A uh, few things to do. I have posted up uh, on Schoology the answers to uh, all the Ebola parts. Um, at this point with Zoom, all the last night they came up with, now Google Meets might be okay. And while they're doing all this, what are we gonna do for uh, classroom discussion kind of full classroom extravaganza. Um, I just re-geared it. I've got all the answers there. So you can pull up yours on uh, different sections and just run through the answer. And really the idea that I want out of this was as we were doing this, comparing to what you see about COVID-19 on the news, I hope you're watching the news or media feeds or whatever, <clears throat> and do some comparisons and, and get that background knowledge of you know, what's going on during this pandemic and what are, what does the data really mean as opposed to some of the uh, rumors, unsubstantiated uh, anecdotal stuff like the uh, talk about the malaria uh, drug and all that stuff that's not scientifically done and how the CDC kind of does things in their background and difficulties they're having with uh, distributing uh, masks and respirators and now as you see running out of critical just cleaning supplies and all sorts of stuff that are ancillary items but um, uh, absolutely necessary there's all sorts of things that they're running out of besides just direct stuff uh, and gloves and everything else but there's other uh, drugs and supplies and stuff that are all feeding into that and getting that idea Anyhow, I make that connection. So um, uh, what I want you to do is communicate with at least one other person after you go through the answers and look at yours versus whatever, find a way to communicate with at least one other classmate. And your deal is to come up with just three connections. Give me three, give me nice, specific, detailed, three connections, learning things that you, aha moments, don't care what they were, that connected this and maybe, if you got through the polio reading stuff, there's something also there with the polio virus stuff that would do that, but make that connection. And then um, we're gonna then bring in tomorrow immunology and lymph, and you can start seeing how your body's responding and stuff like that. Um, and I'm very excited to do that. Um, if you haven't quite finished the polio reading, go ahead and do that. I mean, there's no, you know me, I mean, we're, we're all working through this together and I want you to be spending time every day, but I don't want you uh, overloaded with uh, 900 things to do. So get that done. The big thing on polio again is if you can find someone uh, in your family or somebody that you might know that was, you know, around might have some inkling of polio and back, you know, the early vaccine and stuff like that. Yeah, the uh, virus outbreak was kind of 40s and 50s, uh, tailed into, you know, uh, my era a, a little bit, the 60s. So while I wasn't directly involved in, in, in remembering the polio ep, um, pandemic, I did have experiences with kids and families who, uh, or I should say there's more families and stuff with folks who did get struck by polio and had um, then physical disorders manifest and stuff like that. So uh, finding somebody to have that uh, deal. Uh, another interesting thing you might wanna look up on the news, I heard this on the news, a 103 year old woman passed away from the COVID virus and she had a great background history. She actually survived the polio virus and stuff too. So you might wanna Google that one um, anyhow. But yes, we'll get into immunology and everything else. At the end of this week, Thursday, Friday-ish, your final exam is just gonna be a cardiovascular case study. And I'm saying Thursday, Friday, because I'm trying to decide the best method of doing this without the final being something that takes you five hours um, and, and gets in the way of your other stuff. So uh, depending on how it goes, it may just be split into two parts, two more manageable kind of parts, like a two-part exam. Um, and that's the only thing I've got now. I've decided it's going to be a case study. I love that because it makes you think and do the physiology stuff. Um, 
so then the question is what will that be so um, look over the answers get some aha moments connect with at least one other person um, it doesn't matter somebody can upload into the homework your three connections with good detail make it certainly make it more than a sentence or two um, just include both names um, um, so that or however many two don't go more than three people please uh, three two to three people all just bouncing ideas off each other and having a conversation somehow okay um, and then uh, get out safely away from everybody else and enjoy what's supposed to be an almost 70 degree day anyhow stay safe stay healthy uh, learn lots and we will talk to you tomorrow